and restore them back to you. He'll take those experiences that the enemy meant for your harm and turn them around for your good. He'll make you stronger, wiser, and better off than you were before. He can launch you further into your destiny than before. Be encouraged today, because with God, all things are possible, and nothing is ever wasted. Support our community and donate us through Super Thanks. Support our community and donate us through Super Thanks. Type yes if you, if you believe in God. Today, Jesus, God have a bless. special message for you in particular. If you're suffering right now, you don't have to pretend it's all good. You don't have to act. But praise God. When Jesus was hours from crucifixion, he didn't sing in the garden or act hyper-spiritual. He was sweating blood. He asked the Father for a way out. But Jesus ultimately went to that cross with joy, not a shallow consolation that knows no pain, but a joy deepened by sorrow and recognizing the hurt of humanity. God is always trying to make you more human and not less. You can cry out in agony. In that honesty, God is establishing great character in you. Such a Christian is both happier and sadder at the same time because they long for a better home and already have one. Type, I'm ready to affirm. Are you utilizing the gift God gave you? Many people know the gift that God has given them, but they don't utilize it. Others are still trying to figure out what their gift really is. In either case, let us pray that you find the gift that God has given you. The person who has truly been born of God is not comfortable with habitual sin that continues for any length of time. Born-again believers cannot sin without the Holy Spirit convicting them, challenging them, and creating remorse within them. They cannot get away from the need for repentance. The most dangerous place for an individual to be in is for them to sin and not feel conviction anymore. This is the ultimate sign that the Holy Spirit's presence is not dwelling within them. Anyone who is truly born of God will never be a successful sinner. Type, I am sovereign, to claim. Jesus said to them, You shall love the Lord God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and all of your mind. The heart, soul, and mind represent the whole body. God wants us to have every single aspect of our heart pointed towards Him, and through Him, He will hit your God-given target for your life. So many times, people have gone to church for years, praying in the Spirit, believing in church, and thinking the same way. The Lord has spoken to many that He's going to move in a situation or circumstance, but they cannot wrap their natural mind around it. Therefore, they become emotional. My friends, when God says something, that settles it. When we allow our heart to surrender to God's love, we are protecting our soul. Surrender of the heart is deeper than outward obedience, since it is possible to obey God for the wrong reasons. Type 1717. If you believe this, our motivation must be grounded.